the formidable robot. On October 6th, a user on the Lost Media Wiki, known as Nemo77, would make a post on the discussion page detailing an obscure commercial they saw. In the post, they would describe a character in the commercial that scared him so much that he made a sketch of the character in question. Hello, I would like to talk about a commercial that I saw in the mid to late 2000s, where the commercials at the time would be well known for being really creepy. From the baby doll and PS3, to even the quit smoking advertisements, these commercials can be found almost everywhere. But one commercial I couldn't find was an obscure Colgate commercial I saw back when I was younger. Now those who somehow don't know what Colgate is, Colgate is the toothpaste brand that was invented back in 1873, and is still relevant to this day. This brand had a big impact in dental care, but you're not here for a history lesson, so I'll describe what I saw. One day, I was watching a boxing match between two guys. For the record, I don't know what channel this was on at the time, and I was probably 8 or 9, so I had no knowledge about the two guys that were boxing, but what I do remember was right after the first match, it went to commercial break, and while waiting, I saw a commercial about the newest Colgate toothpaste. The commercial started with a little boy in bed trying to sleep, but something was hurting his mouth. Then all of a sudden, the wind blew open the window, and an odd character jumped into the room. It was a giant tooth with arms and legs and an odd hat. He had holes all around him, and some of the holes formed his eyes, mouth and a mustache. Who are you? The boy asked. I am the cavity craver, said the tooth in a very corrupted voice. I'm here to break your teeth, said the cavity craver. Urgently, the boy pulled open his dresser drawer, and pulled out a tube of Colgate toothpaste, opening it up and spraying it to the cavity craver. The cavity craver screams in pain and agony. I was scared because the craver's screams were very loud and corrupted. What was left of the craver was the leftover bone marrow and dust, thanks to the toothpaste. While it might be cheesy, now you have to remember that this was the 2000s, and at the time, commercials like these would be creepy back in the day. Years would pass, and I would forget about that commercial, until I saw a video about 10 disturbing commercials in the 2000s, and the memories flooded back to me about that commercial. However as hard as I tried, I couldn't find it on the internet, so that is why I came to the Lost Media Wiki for some help on finding it. As you would expect, the Lost Media Wiki speculated on the subject, some say that the commercial Nemo 77 described was real, some said it was false, and others were mixed to say the least. Some users asked Nemo 77 for more details, and Neem would provide a sketch of the cavity craver. After that, Nemo 77 would eventually abandon their account and would never respond to anyone. What happened to Nemo 77? No one knows, 